Hey everyone, this is Tom with the Green Dot Group. Thanks for joining us for a quick overview of the DMAIC cycle. I'm not gonna dive too deep into each of these phases as this is recorded at the white belt level as part of our white belt training curriculum. So the DMAIC cycle, as I mentioned in previous content, is the framework by which belts facilitate improvement. So it's the guiding, almost like the project plan for Lean Six Sigma projects. So moving from this cover slide, just wanna quickly talk about the DMAIC process. Um, as we look at this cycle, I want you to notice that it is closed loop, so it's a continuous improvement model. And although it looks like each of these phases are um, proportionate, uh, a large percent of the project is actually spent in the define and measure phase. It's really important that the team invest time and energy here to understand the problem, understand the customer's needs, and to measure the current state. So a lot of time and energy is spent on the front end of it. If they do that work well, they'll be positioned to um, you know, have really well accepted ideas for improvement that will uh, impact the item that is needed to be impacted in order for improvement to occur. So in any improvement journey, probably one of the hardest questions to answer is how do you know change was an improvement? So if you, you know, effectively define your problem and measure your current state and target a true root cause, you're likely to get good results. So in this model, uh, just know that they're not proportionate and a lot of the work is on the front side of it. So in the define phase, uh, just to revisit that, you're defining the problem. In the measure phase, you're, you're looking at the current state. You're talking to your customers. You're trying to measure your current state performance. Based on your conversations, based on your analysis, based on your mapping in the analyze phase, you're trying to understand why the problem's happening. This is, in other, in other words, looking for that root cause issue. And then based on your root cause issue, you wanna identify countermeasures and ideas for improvement. And these ideas you wanna implement in a small test to change using PDCA, plan, do, check, act which allows you to see first is, um, are we able to act on this idea? Can we implement it? And if so, in implementing it, what was our result? Or is additional improvement needed? And based on those things, you're iterating and sometimes you're implementing multiple solutions, not all concurrently, but in a logical sequence. And then once you've got the result that you want, you're going to sustain those results using the control phase. So just kind of stepping through this, um, it's really important that you're using data in your improvement model. Uh, it is really um, necessary to be able to, on the other side of it, if you didn't go through these process steps to collect the data on the front end, you're gonna have a hard time showing that you made improvement on the backside. And you also wanna make sure that in following this process, um, your improvement is sustainable so that the results you got will endure over time. And um, as I said at the onset, it's a closed loop cycle. It's a continuous improvement cycle. So you're iterating, you're improving multiple times um, and that adds up. So even if it's small success, you wanna celebrate that and turn the page and look for that next opportunity. So just diving deeper into each phase, uh, as I'd said, the defined phase is talking about why the project's important, what's important to the customer. And um, you know, in some ways that helps the team to have clear clarity on what the purpose of the project is. In the measure phase, uh, this is where you're collecting baseline data, you're setting measurable goals for your team. Oftentimes the goals are set using an aim statement and they're focusing in on the outcome level metric. Um, so again, you're collecting baseline data. Uh, this data may allow you to go back, revisit your problem statement and reiterate on it, refine it as necessary. Um, so in this, with that in mind, they look like they're a one-way street. Uh, that's not true. And sometimes you're gonna move from one phase to another and you're gonna learn something in that subsequent phase that is gonna allow you to better articulate something in the previous phase and it's totally fine to circle back onto a previous phase. So in the analyze phase, this is where you're going from a high level problem into maybe uh, more process level opportunities. So you're going from the big Y to a critical X. And this is where your process map comes in. This is where you're doing correlative analysis or trying to understand the relationship between the process metric, which is denoted as X, and the outcome metrics, which is denoted as Y. 
And then from there, with those root causes validated and identified, you're ready to implement countermeasures. As I'd said, uh, you're doing this through PDCA. So you're testing your ideas, you're watching to see the outcome of your ideas and implementing additional improvement if necessary. So in this, you wanna see that, hey, I implemented this process, it was a change in X, which is process level change, which resulted change in Y. And after you iterate, you implement multiple improvement ideas and you get your project to your desired state or to the goal, then you wanna sustain that change and you want to hardwire as much as possible that new process through use of a control plan. So uh, this is a critical part of the process step is to you know, ensure all of the previous process assets are updated or modified you know, think about training, think about job aids, think about, um, you know, compensation. If, if for some reason the previous compensation incented them to do the work the old way, you want to be looking at the systems and structures and updating those as well to help to sustain the improvement that you just implemented. So thanks for tuning in. Um, this is the Demaic Cycle. Again, it's the framework that belts use in facilitating improvement.